What is up everybody, it's your boy Slim, aka Mr. Different, back with another video. And today I'm going to show you guys a vocal tutorial, a vocal effect today. Like I said, I want to get back to the vocal effect stuff. You guys may ask for it, so I'm going to drop it to you. Drop, blah, blah. I'm going to be dropping more of that stuff eh, in the future. God, I can't talk. That was the fuck wrong with me. But anyway, <laughs> y'all already know this. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to do the side chain delay effect. I know I did it before, but the video wasn't the best in my opinion. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do it again. But like I said, I will be using Studio One, but this can apply to any DAW. If you guys can't figure it out on your own in FL Studio, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to make a we'll redo it, uh, a version of this inside of FL Studio. But it's basically the same concept in any DAW. Very simple, very easy. Just you gotta probably click a different button like that. But before that, if you can follow me on Instagram, SoundCloud, Twitter, y'all already know the drill. Also, subscribe to the channel. We're trying to hit 100k this year, if possible. And also, if you do like the video, if you're a hater, thumb it down, you know, drill. Let's jump right into the video right now. So, here we are inside Studio One. I know it may look daunting for a lot of you guys, but basically the same concept it's a daw it records audio and you can use effects to you know make your stuff sound whatever make beats record all that daws are daws but anyway i'm gonna play this little sample right now and i'm gonna show you how to get that side chain delay effect so yeah this is just a little freestyle through together in like a few minutes i just said whatever came to my fucking head i didn't really care but you'll see so yeah uh I'm back up on my grind and I'm about to spit it Niggas hating on my flow cause they cannot get it I guess I gotta keep it right like every day They hating on me but I ball like a fadeaway I gotta get this paper just like every day Being broke no more nigga I fade away And they don't like me so they just stay away If you don't like me you can get up on my lane I'm just being different why y'all stay the same Y'all don't like me I guess cause y'all fucking lame Okay you see it's not really good Plot me if you think it's good. Let me know if you think that was a good little freestyle. Whatever. I don't know. But anyway, that besides the point. But as you can see, it's pretty. I redid some effects to it. Just some simple compression, um, yesing, and a little bit of saturations like that. And I threw some reverb on it. But now I'm going to show you how to get the side chain delay effect. Now, the good thing about delay effect is that it can add space. It can add ambience. It can add rhythm. All that good stuff to your vocals. But the one thing that delay really doesn't mess up is that if you don't have it under control, it can muddy up the mix because you have all them delays going on, going fighting against the original sound source as well. And like I say, it's like a delay. Like I say, if you ever try to rap with a delay in your earphones or whatever, it's just hard to do it because the delay messes you up. So let's go ahead and clean it. So uh, let me go ahead and just solo the vocals so you can hear, you know, how it sounds with no beat. I'm back up on my grind and I'm about to spit it. Niggas hating on my flow because they cannot get it. I guess I got to keep it. Okay, you see Sounds good, nice and clean, blah, 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 that good stuff. Now, let's just go ahead and throw a delay on there. Let's just see. This is what it would sound like if we just threw a delay directly on there. Right like every right day. Like every they hating on me, but I ball like a fade away. I got to get this paper just like every day. Being broke no more, nigga. But you see, it just muddies it up. It sounds horrible. Now, you could, of course, play with the mix knob, but that's not. That's not. I'm back up on my I'm grind and I'm about to spit it. Niggas, 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 you have to turn it. Niggas, niggas, stop. You have to turn it down so dang low that, I mean, it's unusable and it really don't really get that effect and that rhythm and that ambience to your vocal. So what we're going to do is we're going to put it on a bus effect or a, a, a an effect send or a effects send. Let's call it whatever. Or aux track. I know in Pro Tools it's called aux track and most of does call it an effect send. Same difference. So to do that in uh, Studio One, all you got to do is drag it to the sins right here, and it'll create a channel automatically for you. So now it's on the sin. So that way I'm pretty much sending audio to this to be affected by the delay and back out. So that way I can control how much of it I want. But still we get the same the same crucial, you know, problem with delays. I'm back up on my grind and I'm grinding and I'm grinding and I'm grinding. It's still right there. Even if we bring it down, it's still going to be that way. So what we want to do is compress the delay when we're speaking and re and open the delay when you know there's pauses or gaps or pockets of air in between the words that way the the um the delay is under control so easy way to do that is on the effects bus or the effects scene or aux track you just need to add a compressor so we'll just add like a default compressor from studio one and that would be good i got all these fucking plugins boy uh, we'll go to here it is right here compressor. We'll just throw that right up on there. Now we need to set up a side chain. Now it's different in every DAW. 
Studio One is super easy. Like FL Studio, all you do is you right click it on the channel and go to side chain this track, and boom, you're done. Um, with a default effect. When here Studio One, you just hit this little plus symbol right here, and you go to side chain, and then you just find the compressor. So we got the repeater, which is my delay insert, because the insert track, and then the compressor. So we click that. Now it is side chain. So now what I'm allowed to do is I can compress the delay when I'm speaking and open it up when I am not speaking or when that's happening. So for example, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the ratio all the way up because we want to squash it down. I like to use a hard knee, so I bring it all the way down. And I usually bring my threshold down to about negative 40. And then I like to make my attack a little bit fast. So I like to do like a you know one millisecond attack. And then I'll probably do like a 20 to 40 millisecond release. So we'll just do 30 for the day. All right. And now that's it. Now when we play the delay, it'll actually be compressing the delay signal while I'm talking. And then when I stop talking, you'll hear the delay come through. So I'm back up on my grind and I'm about to spit it. Niggas hating on my flow because they cannot get it. I guess I got to keep it relic every relic every relic. Now you see, now you see how when I'm talking, the delay gets really quiet. And then when I stop talking, you can hear the delay come through. So now what I can do is actually blend in or send less of my, my uh, send less of this signal to the delay right now. So I can just bring it bring it down a little bit. So you can start. You can do like just use less delay effect. So you can send less vocal to the delay aux channel right now, and that's going to allow me to get a cleaner signal. So now if we play it. I'm back up on my grind and I'm about to spit it. Niggas hating on my flow because they cannot get it. I guess I got Now you see? Right there. Now it's got a cleaner sound. You still got the delay. You still got that vibe. And it's really good on passages that have like a little bit of ambience to it or like big gaps in it. Like what I did right here. So for example. And that shit okay. I do this shit every day. And I do it my way. Don't See how it, just, it compresses down the delay and it opens it up when there's a big space right there. And it just gives that ambience and that feel and that emotion. And now if I go to, I'm going to change the, the effect real quick, change it to telephone. Now if we play it with the beat. And that shit okay. I do this shit every day. And I do it my way. Don't care what they say. I gotta keep moving, keep on going on. That's why I do these songs. I gotta take off. And like I said, it just gives you a cleaner delay effect and it doesn't muddy up your mix. Cause I love using delay and reverb in my vocals and you wanna be able to control them and tame them. And at that point, you can just kinda mess around with the delay, use different delay effects, whatever you use, add some distortion on it to delay, all kind of stupid little shit. But um, you get it right there. That's just a great way of taming your delay effect, keeping it under control and making it sound, you know, more tamed and make it actually like, I guess, move with the instrumental in the song in itself. So, yeah, very simple technique, very easy. You just create an aux, you just create a effect send or aux send or whatever it's called, aux bus, and you just send uh, the signal to the delay effect and side chain with a compressor on the delay send, and you just pretty much dial it in the taste at that point. You just, you know, you can have more attack, less attack, more release, less release, you know, a harder or a more gentler compression setting whatever it is and there's really no wrong, right or wrong way at this point so yeah that's really right there that's easy peasy lemon squeezy delay the side chain delay effect if you want me to do this in fl studio i will definitely make a video inside fl studio like i said i just want to do more vocal stuff inside studio one because i can really because it really you can really do it with any daw if i show you in studio one you kind of get it but like i said i would definitely make a dedicated one for FL Studio, if you guys so desire. Just let me know in the comments below. So if you like this video, thumb it up. If you didn't like this video, thumb it down because, you know, I don't really care. I'm just trying to give you guys tips to hopefully help you out to make your stuff stand out a little bit more. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy. Like always, y'all know who it is. It's your boy Slim, a.k.a. Mr. Different, not motivated by the money, but the like, comments, comments, and views. Hope you guys enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, everybody.